Stephen Berkoff, Dostoevsky and Scots writer Robert Sprout may seem to be odd bedfellows, but at the hands of George Dillon in Stunning the Punters, they form a hat-trick of undeniable power. I arise like all the other workers, buy a paper, sit down. They think I'm working. Who else gets up to eat at 8 a.m. looking tired? And yes, I can see the real workers, because they're always talking about work. Fuck it, I work in my head! Don't you stare at me like that in your slave's uniform, your paint-splashed overalls. Work doesn't grow on trees! Work of story I knew five years ago. I, I've worked with Steve and I've done a lot of his work. He's my, my mentor, my guru. And his story was um, from a, a book of short stories called Gross Intrusions. And it's about an unemployed actor. The Robert Sprout story I took off the shelf in the library for the title, Stunning the Punters of Hogarth. Brilliant title. It's a rough old estate. We was just coming out the entrance of our block, and wham! There's this terrific fucking crash right behind us. Know what it was? Only a pram. Right. A real old-fashioned metal pram. Smashed to fucking bits. Fuckers must have pushed it off the roof, says Spike. Far too fucking big to go through them windows. Fourteen floors, straight down. Ten points, I says to Spike. Got to be a maximum. Nah, says Spike. Only get a maximum for a pram if the baby's still in it. They are all alienated characters. They're society's losers. But they all conquer their alienation. Or it conquers them by the strength of the imagination. Ridiculous. I am a ridiculous man. They call me mad now, but I no longer mind. I would laugh with them, not at myself, but for love of them, if I did not feel so sad watching them.